<sighs> God damn it. Hasn't it been a while since I've done this kind of segment before? Ignore the hair, okay? I I didn't have time this morning. Leave it at that and I'm lazy. I don't want to do it just for this video. And it's really hot right now. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, it's good to be back here again. Um, here on... I can't say it quite yet. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, it's good to be back, guys. I haven't talked about like anything anime related in a good while. Um, I just got kind of caught up in some BS and also I got a little behind because I'm not one to review every single episode of an anime even though I think for YouTube content sakes you probably should uh, but again I just feel like some episodes are lame some episodes there's nothing going on and there's some episodes where you can't get the full context of the story unless you get the whole season you know so I figured I only like reviewing anime unless the whole season's out um, like for instance uh, the most recent Attack on Titan I still haven't talked about yet and I have a lot to talk about about that one but today uh, one of my pre-orders came in. I'm really excited to talk to you about this. And that is a, a figure, um, a figure that's made by Good Smile, Nendroids, uh, one of the Nendroids. And it's based off a character that has not received an anime yet, and yet has a very popular manga that's out right now. And that is the character of Denji from Chainsaw Man. So, uh, let's take a look. Here. On Kimuchi Corner. Ah, it's good to hear that opening back again. I probably need to update some of the images, but another time. But anyway, but yeah, and for those of you that are watching for the first time, here on Community Quarter, I cover everything in all things anime, whether it be movies, shows, and or figures. And again, we're here to talk about uh, Denji from Chainsaw Man. And again, this is my first time seeing uh, a manga character getting a Nendroid before the anime even comes out. I know Nendroid has, or it's Good Smile is the company that makes Nendroids. I'm sure they made figures like that in that kind of situation before, but this is the first time I've seen it. I think that's really cool. Um, and I've never seen this kind of box size, at least me personally, before. Um, and just so you guys know, they come in all sorts, sorts of si sizes. Like, for instance, my first Nendroid was uh, the Deku from My Hero Academia one. I got this at Target. It was really cheap just because it was already damaged. Um, it was pretty damaged. So, um, yeah, that, that was a pretty cool box. And then uh, this is my kind of favorite box right now. Um, this is Nezuko from Demon Slayer. Um, it's more compact and it's it's actually kind of cool how much they compact into this box and I, I just think it looks pleasing to the eye just the colors and just how compact it is. It looks good on the shelf if you're going to leave them in the box. Um, and then they have this big ass one and this is Kirby. Um, yeah really thick chunky all sorts of accessories and also I know it's a problem shut the fuck up anyway uh, and then we get uh, an image of denji actually on the box in the front right here right next to the number of the figure and as we look in the sides we get images of the figure um with the green and orange color scheme um and it looks great guys honestly i love this like this like very vibrant uh like pow uh color scheme on, on this box um uh, and it, it gives me a real Nickelodeon vibe. And I understand that the first volume, um, it it's orange and green. And again, we're great cover art on the manga. However, again, it just gives me nostalgia vibes just because I grew up on Nickelodeon. Just random, you know, random fact or whatever. Or me personally. Um, but overall, again, really cool box. Uh, really interesting. Um, again, I really do like Nendroid boxes. And this, like when I first got Android, it makes me want to keep the boxes. That's why I, I kind of want to rebuy that Deku figure because it is a little damaged. But it's cool. It's my first Android. But anyway, let's take a look. What's inside the box? Oh, one more thing before I review this. I do apologize how I'm going to present this figure. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier um, as I, when I was recording this. Um, unfortunately, I was working on another project uh, on my desk. And unfortunately, I was missing a part. And with me and projects, if I don't complete it that day, I'm going to leave it there until I finish it. So uh, I'm, you're probably gonna see images of this figure on random air places so I can make it look presentable. Um, just giving you a heads up, I do apologize. Hey guys, 
<laughs> I know this is a little awkward, but again, like I said in the video, I have my stupid PSP hanging out on my desk and I don't really want to move anything until I finish. So I'm gonna have to present to you with this figure on my bed. Apologize for the mess. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, here's everything you get from a, usually from an Android box. And sometimes they're, they're kind of double decker when it comes to the items. And before we get into some deep shit with this, um, just know in the back of, of the shell here, it usually comes with um, the stand here. It's a very posable stand, kind of standard. And as you can see, it comes with a couple of arm pegs just in case anything busts. And also some spare hands and also some spare knees when you're doing dynamic poses. Hold on, I can see that a little bit, sorry. <laughs> um, the only thing out, out of the box right now, I kind of wish um, there was like an empty spot here um, just to put this in. Cause with these little bags, I almost feel like I gotta go go through my, my kitchen and find a little baggie to keep these in. Cause obviously I'm gonna, own, I'm gonna open these and you know try to set them up and obviously i'm doing a video review so i have to open these <laughs> to show you the poses and not lose the pieces but you know what i'm saying I, I just wish for like easier storage but yeah oh and it comes with a little arm just so you know <laughs> but i'll show you that in a second however let's go ahead and look at the contents of this but yeah here is denji and yeah straight to the back that's he looks great um the shading on it i i don't know how to describe it but it is very uh like drawn like i don't know how to put it like it's not <sighs> i kind of wish i grabbed another nendroid to see it for a second but like i don't know something about it looks like it looks very simple it looks very um what's the word i'm looking for like dry i don't i don't know <laughs> anyway but yeah as you can see these nendroids have uh, if you guys don't know what nendroids are they have very limited ability. but actually he has like an ab crunch going on right there and obviously you can move the head up and down this way you can't do any side movements just this unless you move the peg around uh this tie here i'm a little nervous about this tie because i i know why they did this because in the manga you see the tie kind of wiggling around as he's going you know ape shit on everyone um i'm a little nervous because yeah it's, it's just it's just a pop and you, you know what with all these extra parts i wish it came with an extra tie just straight out of the bat right now um but yeah it looks simple up and down nothing too crazy uh, some extra forearms um, His legs here though, like they have an extra ball joint so you can see they it kind of wiggles around here it's, He has a little Joint on the toes love his fresh sneaks. Look at that. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get some um, Some close-up b-roll of, of his sneaks, but no. Yeah overall. He looks fantastic. Really great um, I kind of wish well, I don't know how they would do that because um I wish the, the hair with this, uh, these little stubbles of hair were closer to right here. So it covers the line a little bit. Yeah, like, cause some, some of the nendroids out there, cause again, you're able to, you're actually able to remove this and, ah, ah hold on, <laughs> to change his face play. Usually you're, they're able to cover this up and it's kind of seamless. Like the Deku one I have, I, I showed you guys earlier. You can't really tell where the seam line is. It's actually really good. But, um, but st again, overall, really good figure. So I'm going to put him here in a second. And then obviously I'll show you some poses. And of course, here is his alternate face. Hopefully I get it on screen a little lot better. Again, I'll get, do a little zoom in or a little B-roll. His little tongue. He usually makes his face either if he's looking at, um, <laughs> either he's looking at like some food or something or, or Makima's tits. If you if you read the manga, you know, <laughs> or something. No, don't mean to be pervy, but that's cool. And obviously, we have little Pochita right here in the back. Look at him. Look at little Pochita. Oh, Pochita. Okay, I gotta stop that. <laughs> but yeah, look at little Pochita. Adorable. It's all hell. Cute. I, I kind of, I don't need it, but I kind of want the stuffed animal just like so hold him like as an actual chainsaw. Uh, that'll be that's pretty cool i'm back a little ba baggy for now and of course we get some of his chainsaws here for his arms there's a little bit of shine to it like a little silver shine nothing too All crazy right. sorry guys i had to change the angle just a little bit because i want to show you this a little closer oh shit i almost forgot this little arm again i'll get some b-roll for this footage this hand right here is for when he's pulling the cord uh, to start his chainsaw, like, you know, vroom, 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 <laughs> all that stuff. Um, 
but here is the actual head. Well, actually, and I'll pull it out. Look at that. Jesus. That is cool. Now, hold on, let me just remove this really fast. See, they have this piece of foam to protect the teeth. That's, again, you know what's funny? When I open these figures, I'm not that crazy about keeping the, the foam parts or anything or like any of the plastic. But for this, um, I would feel like that it would protect the teeth a lot better because I'd be, I'd be heartbroken if the teeth got fucked up. But look at that, guys. That is some badass motherfucking paint work. That is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you could put his tongue right there. So he, you know, he could go like, yeah. He's usually like in the, like in, in the manga, like he has his tongue out when he goes ape shit. Especially in that, I think it was volume two or three when they're in that apartment. Uh, like he goes ape shit in that one. Well, he goes ape shit anyway. But yeah, overall, this is, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Looks so good. I'm so, I'm so excited for the anime, guys. You have no idea. But um, with that being, oh, I almost forgot. Let me just grab this right here if I can. There's a little blood splatter. So I think if we take out that piece of foam that's like in between. And I think we just put it in between, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's that's cool. A little blood splatter. That's nice. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Uh, just for a quick second, I'll show you some B-roll of the figure all together in poses. I do apologize for how I'm presenting this figure, guys. Again, I don't have enough space right now and it seems kind of a mess. Again, my desk is being preoccupied by another project for another video. Uh, and again, I'm in the middle cleaning up everything right now. So, but overall, guys, I really enjoyed, enjoyed this Denji figure. I'm glad I really pre pre-ordered this. And I don't usually say this. I don't usually tell people, like, you gotta buy this. If you're even remotely, and I mean remotely interested in Chainsaw Man, whether you just heard about it, you seen some images, or even seen the trailer for the anime that's coming out. I do think you need to hop on this, guys. Because, mark my words, you can pull, if you want to, pull this clip later. Um, I think this will, this will be alongside with the other Nendroid, which is Power. Didn't have a chance to pre-order, unfortunately, but I'm going to get that figure. Um, Alongside with Power and this Nendroid, I feel like these will be the hot ticket items because again, there's not much of Chainsaw Man product out there just because right now it's barely coming out here because like, like most recently I just finished uh, volume nine. Uh, this kind of gave me a little tear in my eye. <laughs> um, and it's not a long, uh, it's not a long, there's not that many volumes, sorry. But, um, there's only 11 volumes. And I think it's coming out in the, like in, in the, of this recording, just like in two more weeks, the last volume is coming out. And as far as I know, I read, I don't know if it continues after that, but, but yeah, I really, this has become one of my favorite mangas, guys. It's so much fun, great action, great artwork. And I'm telling you, if the animation matches what we've seen in the trailer in the anime, which I kind of think it is because that there's only 11 volumes of the manga, this will be a hot anime this will be i'm gonna call it so this will be a classic and that's why i really do think you need to pick up this nendroid right away so if you come across it i say just grab it worst case scenario just <laughs> you know return it or what have you or call me i don't mind getting doubles anyways guys uh, let me know in the comments below uh what do you think of this nendroid figure are you gonna pick it up are you a big fan of the ant are you excited for the anime are you 
are you a big fan of the manga and overall guys it feels pretty good being back doing kimuchi quarter it, i kind of miss it i like my little opening that i made way back um, i do think i need to update it just a slight bit um but yeah it feels good like i again i don't like covering each and every episode of an anime just because i feel like it's better to review as a whole than just in pieces um but <sighs> the next videos i'll be working on in kimuchi corner and again thank you for staying tuned if you are um the next few episodes are coming coming out um i really really want to finish that math cross three part i've been working on i've had the first part for a long time i think i don't even want to look how far back i did the first part uh, i've been struggling how to do the second part just because a lot of people have talked about Matt Cross and Robotech a lot. There's nothing more I could say. All I can tell you is I don't think it's going to be as long as the first part because that one was like 30 minutes. This one probably probably expect me 10 to 20. Um, I'm just going to tell you my personal story with it. And also, I teased a video way back also of this like anime figure gathering extravaganza because I've been getting random rec you know questions from people I walk into, some friends that are, are trying to look for anime merchandise. And they're like, "Hey, what can I buy?" You know, because I do, don't get me wrong, there's like small statues and figures, but there's all kinds of stuff out there. I just want to give you some variety of figures. Um, well, one of the reasons why I postponed it was I was waiting for pre-orders. And one of them finally came. And not gonna lie to you, I kind of wish I canceled the pre-order. I've waited over a year and a half for this. And just a little tease. And I was gonna save this for the second part of my Macross figure, or, uh, you know, uh, my three-part review of you know macross um i was gonna bring this out and suffice to say and it, i regret it. i can't return it because i opened it um, i may have to resell it but just for i'm just gonna show you this just for fair warning for people out there don't buy this figure just don't just don't i'm telling you this now i'll go into more detail about it later um but yeah besides that little disappointment um it's great to be back guys and uh i'll see you guys next time kimochi